Now, this is how you can stop the background apps on your Android. Let's get into it. So at first, of course, just grab the Android phone and get inside of the settings. And from the main section, from the things which uh, appear on the main panel, I want you to scroll down and tap on the battery and the device care, right? So you can find the battery, then you have the storage, memory, and some other things in there, right? So if you tap on a battery, you should find the background usage limits. So when you tap on this, a few things which appear, so you have one a toggle at the top, or at least in my case, it is so that there is it, uh, there it says that you should put unused apps to sleep and I have it turned on because I think it's a, it's a good idea. It means that if you don't use certain apps for a period of time, it will be put to quote sleep and that means that they will not access the internet in the background and it will uh, not drain your battery as you as you use some different apps instead of this one. You also have some sleeping apps and deep sleeping apps so you can go through those if you want but essentially every single app can be managed with this in mind, right? So if you just instead go to the apps section, and let's say that from the list, you select any app that you have in mind, right? You just click on it. And from the usage, when it's happening on the battery, you can find the three options. So you either have restricted, optimized, or unrestricted. And that is for the battery using and also like the background uh, apps, right? So uh, the restricted means that this will restrict the battery usage when this app is in the background. The, the app may not work as expected and notifications may be delayed. Optimized is something in the middle, of course. It just means that it will try to save some battery here and there, but it will still try to provide you with a good user experience. But unrestricted basically means that the app will be allowed to use the battery in the background without any limits. It will just drain it and ensure that you get the best possible performance of that app. So naturally, it is up to you to decide how you want to keep it for each application. But the point is that you can go on app by app basis and decide however you like it. Anyways, that's it from me. I honestly hope that I could help you with this issue or this problem. Let me know below in the comments what you think about it. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next video.